Download the app or head to cbsdenver.com to watch. Dave Aguilera, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, Hanging Lake, we got the Crystal Mill oh, out there's there. There's so many I places. Mean, oh, my God. So many places. You know, uh, you know, we get those U-Report photos all the time. We get pictures from uh, several spots around Colorado. Just beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, this is our almost sunrise shot from the library camp here. Sunrise is at 545 this morning. We're starting to see a little bit of light show up already out there. Temperature-wise, here we go. 60 in Grand Junction, 44 in Aspen. We are 44 at DIA. Greeley are kind of cold this morning at 39 degrees, and it's 40 in Fort Collins. Little fog advisory way out east. Ray, Cope, Burlington, Kit Carson. Uh, your visibility about a quarter mile or less uh, might occur as we get closer to sunrise this morning. That lasts until about 9 a.m. Right now, we've got about two mile visibility out there in Lyman and Burlington. No problem in DIA. Certainly not like yesterday when we had that fog showing up around here. It might be a little hazy this morning. We got some cloud cover from Denver out east, but once we get going here, you see the bright white in the middle of the cl cloud uh, bank there. That's clear air that'll come in, and so we'll be in the sunshine as the morning goes on, on into the lunch hour, and then just a few afternoon clouds. Want to bring it way out here. There's a cold front that's going from Nevada into Utah, and that guy's going to slide right into Colorado coming up for tomorrow. And when that happens, our chances for thunderstorms will go up to finish out the week. Uh, ahead of that, a little bit of wind. Let's take it full, and I'll show you what the red flag warning uh, looks like. Denver's not in this, but just down to Park County over into Colorado Springs and then southward down to Trinidad and Springfield and western Colorado. Could uh, see a little spark take off like that. Gusts will be about 35 mile per hour and about 10 percent humidity under 10 percent humidity. So very, very dry. There you see the future cast with the wind vectors and you can see the wind coming right out of the southwest on that map here. All right, let's put that into motion. We will see mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies during the lunch hour. There we are right there about 1230 this afternoon and then more clouds tonight. We might see a little bit of a sprinkle in some of the northern mountains or the northeastern plains this afternoon and early this evening. Temperature wise, take a look. 60s and 50s in the high country. We will be in the 70s to near 80 across northeastern Colorado. And of course, we will have 80s down there in the southeastern part of the state. So a nice warm day today. 78 degrees with increasing clouds uh, this afternoon. Then Thursday and Friday cooling down with that front coming through. Through. We drop it to near 70 all the way through Saturday with scattered afternoon thunderstorms. And then on Sunday, we beef it back up to 81 degrees. So the pick day of the weekend right now, if you're already thinking about that, Sunday is going to be the warm one for you. Dave, thanks very much. You're there is a real risk that you will trigger an